And then Goofy revealed he was actually the other Xehanort. <laughs> I would have respected that more. I'm coming for your blood, Sora. Welcome back to the Bad Gamecast. This is Jake. Elsa? This time we played Battletoads! <laughs> oh god. Beetleborgs? <laughs> Cattle Toads? Battle Bees. <laughs> yeah, Battle Bees. <laughs> uh, let's just get this out the way. Released August 20th, 2020. A game fucking no one asked for. Uh, developed by Dalala Studios and Rare. Published by Rare and Xbox Game Studios. Released on Windows and the X-Bone. And whatever its weird naming convention is going forward, probably. Oh. Okay. This is the part where I would tell you that Battletoads is a side-scrolling beat-em-up, but it isn't really because, good lord, we're gonna get it into it. It is a game that is a remake of an old game uh, no. that was a side-scrolling beat-em-up. It's not a remake. Sorry? It, it's not. Well, it, no, 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 no. It's it is reboot. not a remake. It's true. It's a squeak wolf. What? It is a sequel, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, I guess that only works for mice, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Toads don't squeak. Oh, right. Other games that came out in 2020. Uh, Crusader Kings 3, Yakuza 0, and Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We've covered other games, which going forward as we do. I'll fuck it, whatever. I'll, I'll talk about those at that time. <laughs> <laughs> he lost all his emotion to read lists of games. It's how you know he's broken. Yes, if you've heard me talk, that's how you'd know I was broken. <laughs> he loves his lists. It's the only thing that kept him going. <laughs> and now it's gone! <laughs> I will have to yuck in sadness. <laughs> All right, so really Battletoads. Be... Go on. You play as the Battletoads. Who are the Battletoads? I don't remember the names. <laughs> Uh, Rash. The Battletoads are super famous heroes. Zitz. Oh, you Rash, mean like their specific Zitz, names? Rash, and Pimples. Pimple. Pimple, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're super famous heroes. Oh my god, look at the Battletoads. Go and save the day. So the first, you start out and you're the Battletoads, super famous heroes, and you go and save the day. Uh, it There's uh, not really much ha happens here because it's kind of the like tutorial level as you're learning. And then mm -hmm. you fly because the Battletoads can fly, remember? Wait. Battletoads can't fly. Blink, blunk, some dude, like, knocks a hole out of the, like, background and is like, we found some people down here. As it turns out, the Battletoads were locked in uh, a virtual reality coffin under, like, uh, ground. They thought they were superheroes. Yep. They're not. They were just hallucinating everything for the last 20 years or so. And now they're not. 26 years. Yep. 26 years, which they sp picked specifically because that's how long it was before the last Battletoads game was released. Yeah. it They call uh, that kind of thing into attention. Yep. Because anyway, it's meta and funny. It's meta and funny, like this game. Anyway, so they all get jobs as a uh, massage therapist, a email writer. Rash doesn't have a job. He's just at home shitting in a diaper. And poverty. <laughs> 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 they come home from their boring ass jobs one day and uh <laughs> i want to stop you real quick to just it occurred to me how weird a sentence is that rash is just at home shitting in a diaper <laughs> what the fuck is this game <laughs> yeah so they come home one day and rash is like I, i'm just standing around in a full diaper with a chalkboard full of numbers i need to be famous again and they're like what? <laughs> no, man, let's just chill. He's like, no, I've pinpointed the location of the Dark Queen, and we should go fight her to defeat her and regain our fame, because the Dark Queen's apparently the villain of, like, the first ones. <laughs> right. For those who don't know their Battletoads lore, the Dark Queen is the enemy in Battletoads, the original arcade game. <sighs> well, that happened. Anyway, so... You then uh, rent some bikes and do a terrible bike section uh, to get to this broken down amusement park where the Dark Queen is. You fight your way through that. There's some garbage, blah, blah, blah. You get to the Dark Queen because uh, there's like no plot that happens in the level. Nope. You get there. 
and she reveals that you're not famous. She's not famous either. Her powers were taken by the Topians, who are two godlike entities that rule the galaxy, and uh, they took her powers. She wants to get revenge on them, but she's being guarded by a big monster, and you decide to toe shambo or uh, something. Toe shambo, yeah. Yeah, for like some mm. garbage reason. Then you fight the monster, beat the monster, and steal a spaceship. Why does the monster have a spaceship? No one knows. Plot okay. reasons. So you steal the spaceship, <laughs> and then the Dark Queen swears but doesn't swear at you intentionally because swears would make the game's rating go up. Uh, but then you pick her up anyway. You don't have a choice in this. This is all cutscenes. Uh, and so now you and the Dark Queen are flying off to space to go fight the Topians. But are you? No. Uh, first, you have to stop by a planet to talk to Jeff, an old acquaintance of the Dark Queen who knows the way into the Topians, a secret way into the Topian city so that you can get there to fight them undiscovered. When you get there, uh, which is the one that's the stupid one that wants to be the leader? Uh, Zitz. Sure. Well, Zitz is the leader. Yeah. And is he's like, I should go talk to Jeff because I'm the leader. And she's like, but Jeff will only talk to me. And then you toad Jimbo it out and you get to go talk to Jeff while she stays at the ship. Mm -hmm. You Dark queen loses. Yeah. So you go talk to Jeff and Jeff's like, I'm only going to talk to the dark queen. And then you knock him out and uh, panic hijinks ensue. Well, Jeff also said he couldn't help you because he was busy getting two medallions of peace from these two warring tribes. The Lumberjacks, who you go to get their medal, which is you just fight your way to them through a brawler, and then there's a big boss fight because that's all it is. It, the Lumberjacks respect violence. And strength because it's like a battle arena where you have to fight the champion to get the medallion. Yeah. You get that medallion, and then uh, randomly you do like this weird, like, uh, okay, have you seen the Hercules movie? Where there's, oh, like, terracotta yeah. Greek paintings that move. You know that word? Oh, you mean the animated one, because I was going to be like, which one? <laughs> yeah, the animated one. Uh, and then you do I this... I don't remember that, the Arnold Schwarzenegger one. You do this weird, like, uh, Olympics-style pole vaulting and weird nonsense. And you get, like, one chance There's, like, a at pommel each... horse. And... Yep, there's archery, there's... Um... Like, I don't know, water polo. Yeah, you like bounce <laughs> the then, balls into a net, right? Yeah. And then acrobatics. And as it turns out, that was the other medal. You were doing gymnastics tax tests for the gymnasts. You have brought peace between the gymnasts and the lumberjacks. But wait! They realized that Jeff was actually unconscious the whole time, and you were weekends at Bernizing. 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 Yep, got it. Blah, it up. <laughs> Just going to roll on by that because it doesn't matter. You then <laughs> ride Jeff out of the, like, castle on his face uh, <laughs> through a terrible section that sucks in his way too long and has no point to the plot. You then get back to the spaceship with the Dark Queen uh, where, God, I can't remember. She argue like, you argue with Jeff about the location and then you just space a motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he makes some shitty comments about, like, what the Dark Queen is wearing, and she just goes, mmm, spaced. Yeah. So he's dead now. Um, this is when Pimple yes. decides he no longer <laughs> wants to be a part of the violence and leaves. And then we got this kind of duality thing where Pimple goes on a uh, quest of, like, self-discovery, and the other three test the stolen spaceship's attack capabilities by murdering people. Which they call out specifically. Just time to murder some people. Yep. Uh, so we can kind of skip their section because it's just murdering. Pimple, on his journey of self-discovery, uh, lands on a planet, meets some weird cultists, uh, does some side-scrolling platforming nonsense. Hold on, they're cool hippies. This is no other cultist yet. All right, he meets some cool hippies. They're all about, like, love and hanging out and being good to each other. Yeah, man. They were, were like, playing Dungeons and Dragons and everything. That was weird. Yeah, and blueberry juice or something. <laughs> and you do this whole thing, get to the top of the mountain, and you have a sick blueberry juice and hang out. And, like, you can hang out with us and stay as long as you praise Jason, the one true god. That's me. I am the one true god. <laughs> the truth, the light, and the way. Um, and a three-eyed rock. It's whatever. <laughs> There's no coming back from that. Keep going. So, 
Uh, Pimple says, well, no, that's kind of not my thing. And so they, and they shun Pimple. And they're like, well, then you're not a part of our cult. And Pimple goes, wait, I will embrace the rage and kills all of them. And they go, we were a death cult anyway, which is a great throwaway line. The <laughs> That really was. <laughs> the moron murder squad uh, runs afoul of the police, uh, galaxy police, because the Topians are searching for you at this point since you openly challenged them. Uh, but then they get Pimple's distress say. signal and they say, hey, we don't leave a man behind. They fly back and crash the ship on the planet that Pimple's on. They realize that Pimple already killed everyone, so there's no trouble. And Pimple's like, well, now you guys are back. I realized that, like, I uh, kind of went crazy there, but we're going to work through this all together as family. Not family? Are they family. related? We're brothers. Are we brothers? We don't talk about it. And then the police show up and they're like, oh, wait, uh, can you destroy these police? And he's like, nah, I'm feeling too good now. You get arrested by the police and brought before the Topians. The Topians are like, uh, hey, you guys suck. Dark Queen's like, I'm here to kill you. They vaporize her. And then they're like, hey, uh, these battle toads are big ratings. And big ratings means big dollars. And so they make them famous, which is what old what's is not always wanted. Rash. Yeah. Rash. Well, uh, the Dark Queen, in the meantime, while vaporized inside one of the Topians, uh, gets the rest of the people that the Topian have vaporized to, um, what it, there's something, there's something about this. Mess up their insides? That's a, they, just like, reform your particles. Yeah, uh, no, there's like a, right, like you're inside the whale or something and you. Yeah, they get turned into sand. He eats all the sand. Everyone else's consciousness is spread out in this big massive cloud. She tries, or she gets them to all reform themselves and strike out and if they cause him enough internal distress he'll puke them back out and as they're doing that he drinks some well the other topian gives him a thing to drink to settle his stomach and then you have to run away from that yeah you escape the ooze and then you get spat out dark queen gets spat out rematerializes uh zitz zitz is the one the leader. Yeah. Has to make the decision between continuing to be famous and adored by his totally real fans who aren't coerced. No, that's rash. Sure. And the Dark Queen. And he decides uh, to not help the Topians. Ah, surprise. He uh, was a good guy. He tricks the Topians to restore the Dark Queen's powers so they can have a better battle. Yeah. But... Spoiler alert, uh, she just uses her abilities to help the Battletoads destroy the Topians. You destroy the Topians, and then she's like, well, now that I got my powers back, it's time for me to take over the galaxy. And Fuck yeah. in a chance to uh, deflect, uh, the Battletoads are like, did you see how the ba Dark Queen saved everyone? And everyone's like, yay! And she realizes, hey, she could just rule the world without killing everyone. The end. Roll credits! Print episode. <laughs> oh no. There is so much more to talk about. <laughs> um, <sighs> there were occasional scenes uh, that you didn't mention while our heroes are like going through space and getting themselves to the Topians, uh, where we are introduced to them and they're, I don't know if you mentioned, like essentially giant uh, geometric shapes with crowns. Yeah, they're weird, like floating dust cloud gas clouds yeah because they're like a solid shape but then they've got like a facial hair like one's got a mustache which is two like wispy clouds and the one's got like a little chin scrub because it's not a goatee it's all the way around i don't know what you call that yeah yep so like you get to see the topians every now and then uh like when you uh when you first get off the planet the toads openly challenge the topians by shouting at them on their spaceship through a microphone and then you get a bit with the topians and you get to kind of see them being fabulous which is honestly the best part of the game yes. yeah those two are flamboyant and they play off each other so well those two are actually funny the game is surprisingly well written in places yes um, this this game has some serious writing chops behind it um a pair from rick and morty and as well they worked as well on uncle grandpa together uh another one that worked on clarence and uncle grandpa's so you know they have like cartoon experience and all these uh cut were you know essentially animated cartoons uh this 
really felt like it should have just been a, uh, you know, like animated short. Which makes a lot of sense because, yeah, like that first time you meet the Topians is great. I had already at that point not enjoyed the game because uh, it's uh, the brawling is slow and not very particularly fun. And then it gets worse. Um, <laughs> some of the later sections <laughs> yeah. are a disaster. But the Topians, it's just like it cuts in and it was great. Like they're just going back and forth. Uh, the one like guy who's trying to report to them is completely at a loss for what to do. <laughs> and then it like cuts to them torturing the monster that you beat up. And they're like, well, we still haven't caught the battle toads and the dark queen. And that's the, uh, they go back and forth about the battle toads, name where they call them like 80, not 80, mm-hmm. but they are like a dozen different things and decide that they're the battle bees. Yeah. yeah the battle bees. The that's battle right. Bees. Uh, well, and they give the guy shit. Why would you come and report to us that you don't have anything? You don't go to a restaurant and they, the waiter comes out to be like, oh yeah, your food's not ready. What's the point of that? Yeah. And then to punish them, they make him three inches shorter. Because it doesn't sound like a it's lot. not much, but, but it's going to change his life. Yeah. <laughs> and that was great. Oh my God. It's just like, pace and writing on that i was like yes i'm in on this and then the game was like and now it's time for a side-scrolling platform or that you didn't ask for <laughs> uh-huh because like uh act one of this game uh i counted up all the different um sections act one has four beat-em-ups uh, a single vehicle section and a pair of very simple quick time event sections that aren't even anything. It was the Toad Shambo stuff. Oh, and, which... Um, uh, I'm going to have to stop you. Toad Shambo, I do not well know why it was in the game. Right. You can't... Uh, was, it, was it possible to lose? No. Like, what was the point it of that? It is actually impossible to lose. And that's why. Why is it in the game? You can't lose. You also can't, like, win. Like, you can't change the outcome. Because it moves to yeah. a predetermined... It's- script literally just uh, it's a gag yeah. that's all it, it is. is a gag that it's... forces your interaction it's so weird mm-hmm. it's it's just so you space have that yeah. and it's mm-hmm. and yeah um the game sort of slides away from the whole beat up thing and we'll get into how bad the beat up sections are in a little while um in act two there were only two beat up sections and then another pair of simple quick time event bullshit And then that, like, sledding on Jeff's body that Jason mentioned was the worst thing ever. It was the goddamn worst thing ever. Yeah, so, like, you do beat-em-up section for the uh, lumberjacks, right? Because they they represent strength and stuff, so you do theirs. And then, yeah, it's this, like, weird Greek minigame thing, which it is. It's three minigames that are... They don't tell you they're going to happen. They don't explain them at all. It just happens. And then you move on with your life. It was so jarringly weird. Yeah. And then you ride Jeff's body on a horrible section. Yeah, it's a 2D auto scroller. When I say vehicle sections, I mean auto scrollers. So, like, you're just moving down the screen and you're occasionally jumping, but you're always moving forwards. It's uh, both mindless and frustrating because by the end of the sledding section, it got. Difficult. There are it got frustratingly three difficult. Three different colors of ground. Well, four technically. One is base that you don't do anything. And then there's three different colors that you have to hold a different key to sled on. If you don't hold the right key, you fall straight through it. Mm-hmm. And eventually it comes to very quick switching sections of colors. So you have to constantly be jumping and holding different buttons or you'll fall through the level. Yes. Yeah, and you had mentioned this, but it goes on for so long. Another section in this game that goes on for too long. Yeah, think about how exciting that sounds. And you're like, okay, so that's like a quick little thing. No, I think that's like 20 minutes of doing that mm-hmm. for no reason. It was reason. definitely <laughs> over 10 minutes for me, yeah. And at least five of those minutes, I feel like we're at the end where there was just a section of rail where you had a jump and then you had to like do a small jump and then jump again immediately. And if you didn't like input any of those correctly, you would uh, run into an enemy on the tracks because apparently we're doing frame perfect tricks now. 
you know, throwback to the old Turbo Tunnel, mm. <laughs> which had nearly frame perfect movement uh, uh, requirements. Which is like because there's a couple Turbo Tunnel sections in here, and they're not as bad as this section. Like they still they go on way too long, but they're not as bad. No. The turbo tunnel sections you're talking about, those are the uh, front facing uh, side scrolling nonsense, or front facing auto scrolling. Yes. Words. Yeah. That is because uh, they're based on the original turbo tunnel. Okay. Which was at the side. Yeah. But to finish my thought, uh, Act 3 is where the game kind of gives up on having any semblance of classic Battletoads gameplay. Uh, those pimple sections where he's like, you know, hanging out with the hippies and like trying to achieve personal uh. enlightenment are uh, very basic platforming sections I think baby's first platformer and um, with some puzzles it's... thrown in at the end and by puzzles I mean they're not really puzzles because they don't give you like multiple solutions or ways to solve things like it's just push a thing over there go up the ladder and press the button and then go back down the ladder and you've unlocked the next route and it's like super simple up until the very last one where it suddenly gets complicated out of fucking nowhere but maybe i'm just the big dumb and don't do puzzle i think you might just be the big dumb it was pretty yeah. easy i yeah. mean no argument for me <laughs> These things, they happen. We all have our strengths. Um, on the other side, when your uh, Battletoads, uh, the two other Battletoads and the Dark Queen are just hanging out in the spaceship, it's a twin stick, it's a twin stick shooter um, that kind of reminded me of half Geometry Wars and half a game I played on my calculator when I was a high schooler. It, That's the level of depth it had. It was not much. It's a, it's a bullet hell space game. Do you know what that is? You've know, played a bunch of them. That's what that uh, is. Bullet hell. <laughs> a bunch of things show up and shoot a bunch of different uh, spreads of projectiles, and you have to blow them all up. It does that a bunch. That's it. And then at the end, uh, Act 4, um, when you take that little side detour with, as the uh, Dark Queen and her little Christmas creatures. Oh, Christmas creature. He was pretty cool. Um it was another auto scroller, but this was like a platforming auto scroller. You know, one of those classic platforming uh, chase sections. Uh, so it's like that. the the uh, top, the goo is coming down from the top, and you have to run back and forth down platforms and like do stuff that way. Is you know, I I, I was trying to think because there's definitely a game I've played that is very like that, but it's not something I'm remembering at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, like, it re reminded me of some, like, uh, Super Mario Brother, like, as the lava's coming up, just coming down from the ceiling instead. Which, like, um... It was giving... Did you know God. that you you can use her, like, dress or something as a parachute to slow down? Because I didn't fucking know that! And, like, when you have to drop through section after section after section of spikes, and, like, you're supposed to, like, move back and forth, mm -hmm. only nothing tells you that you can, like, slow her descent, so I just would die repeatedly... That's very strange because it showed up on the screen for me as a prompt. I might have just missed it then. I'm, I mean, by the time I got there, like, I, I did streamed most of this game. Like, I stopped streaming. I had like 15 minutes left. I was just fucking done playing it. Because he stopped at this section and you have this section, like uh, a small beat em up section, mm -hmm. the final turbo tunnel and the final boss. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Like, yep. I, I might as well have just stuck it out, but I didn't know that's how much there was left. But, like, I didn't know you could slower descent, so it was just, like... And at this point, I was mentally exhausted. Like, I can't believe I've sat through this much of this fucking game. Like, I, I was expecting another two hours of it. I'm like, I can't do it. And then it ends. So, yeah. I don't know if this was something that changed, like, between the time that you and I played it and Jake played it. But uh, during... All the platforming sections, both Pimples, uh, Enlightenment Journey, and the Inside the Topians, I only played as the Christmas creature, and there's no characters select, so I just, like, happened to be this weird, like, I think it was, like, a, uh, a carnival prop that the Dark Queen animated and brought to life. Yeah, it's nearly a throwaway line at the beginning where she tried to create uh like things to help her fight 
Yeah, she was trying to make an army of soldiers. Yes, and these are the things she cobbled together. Yep, and those just happen to be like the characters I played as more than the battle toads for the back half of the game. Now, if you quit out and then like go back into it at the stage select, then you can pick a character. Ah. Because I did not know um, that for the platforming sections, it gave me uh, there's like Christmas creature who's frankly adorable, and then uh, bratty and the little like selfie obsessed, weird looking mop headed thing. Yep, which I had bratty, but when I uh, quit out when I was playing as uh, like coming down when I had finished streaming for the night, when I came back to it, then I could pick the other two for the uh, downward platforming section. Interesting. Yeah, I played as Christmas Creature for the side-scrolling bit with the puzzles. And I played as the Dark Queen for the down goo section. Okay, then nothing makes any sense. Yeah. yeah I Welcome guess it just like to... randomly chooses uh, one of the three characters and says, uh, you're this one That's now. my guess, is that it's literally just a random role. Yep. And the reason that there are three characters in the first place is that Battletoads famously uh, is a sort of a takeoff of the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games, which are multiplayer games. And so was the old Battletoads. And so was the new Battletoads, except you wouldn't know that because it has no online multiplayer. It only has local multiplayer. What the actual fuck? It's an interesting choice when you see a lot of companies... Uh, have cut local multiplayer and when they put it back people are happy right because the option to play with people with you is nice but the option to not play with your friends online is killer nowadays it's the one thing that endlessly annoys me about wizard of legend right i like that game i want to play the game with people and i can't yeah, that game needs some online co-op because, like, look, I am all for couch co-op when we can get together safely. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, it's weird that a game, any game nowadays, doesn't have online multiplayer and only supports local multiplayer. Because then when... It was quite, frankly, a baffling decision. Exactly. Yeah, I, it's so weird. And when you're playing by yourself... A lot of these sections are uh, more annoying, specifically one. Yep. Oh, yes. Uh, you want to go ahead and talk about the ship defenses uh, uh, sequence that you go through after you do the twin stick shooting. Everybody catches up to you. You're running away from all the people trying to kill you, and you just have to turn on the ship's defenses. And to do that, you have to do a series of small, little, like, quick time events. Yeah, it's a... Uh... A grid of mini, like, mini games. And at the top, it'll have, like, a sequence that you have to type in, quote unquote. And each sequence has a, like, uh, what do you call that? Like, picture numeral thing that corresponds with one of the mini games. I wouldn't just, like, assemble that. Yeah. Yeah. Some, you know, thing. And so, like, if the next one is, like, an X, you look for the mini game that has an X in the corner because that's what you have to do next. It starts out, you have to do, like, four mini games, And by the end, you have to do all 12. Uh. Yeah. Fortunately for you, Jake, you didn't have to go through it on uh, normal difficulty uh, because on normal difficulty, it was fucking bullshit. Yeah, uh, so... Uh... When I played through this game, uh, originally it was me and my kids, like, well, <laughs> one of them. I had tried getting multiple controllers to hook up to the, because uh, I was playing it on the PC through the Game Pass, because uh, I don't have that many Xbox controllers. Um, I could have, one of us was on a keyboard, and one of us was on the Xbox controller. I had a Switch controller plugged in. Hey, the Xbox app doesn't recognize the Switch controller, so I swapped it out for a PS4 one. Lulz, nope, the Xbox app only recognizes Xbox controllers. Weird call? Fine. Uh, no, bad call. Uh, I just... there, no, there is no <laughs> reason for that, especially on fucking PC. But yeah, uh, whatever. Like, I'm not going to argue their fucking weird design. So only, like, two of us could play it, which was fine because my, my oldest child didn't want to play it anyway. It was just me and my youngest who was more into it. And uh, we got through most of the way through the first act. Uh, and then we quit out, only didn't save it. So then I had to start over. And once I saw that I had to start over, I put like five minutes in. And I was like, nah, I'll come back to this later. 
And then two weeks later. Two weeks later. They had started it. And I hopped in on their game, which was already through the first act. And then, like, it was on easy, which I didn't realize, which is whatever. I ain't complaining. I got through it. That's where I was at. And then uh, plowed through it from there. But that section in particular wasn't fun. And, like, by the end of it, I was running out of time trying to get through it. And I can only imagine what kind of bullshit that would be like with half the time that you have available. Yeah. It uh, it was ba- bad. Very bad. If you... Yeah, if you want to go back onto the like YouTube archives and see just how badly it broke Jason, it's kind of funny to watch. But also, I sympathize because I had to go through it. I too. can't even imagine because like I know I was streaming during that section and I just doing the same thing over and over and just like uh, you were so mad. Oh, because I, I still am. Like it's horrible design. <laughs> <laughs> it's genuinely frustrating and unfun to play at that point. And I get like. Because it's split into three sections, right? Like, the uh, screen has, like, it's split into thirds. So if you have three people, yep. each person only has to cover, you know, one section, and one section is, like, four games. So you could, ha- you know, someone calls out the symbol, and, you know, you only have to keep track of four symbols, and, oh, I'm doing this. Okay, well, then this is the next symbol. I'm done. Okay, and they go, right? Like, it's some sort of, like... There's like bomb defusal games that are kind of like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like somebody wanted to make um, Space Team, I want to say it yeah, is. Yeah, it's something like that. There's there's games like this that are the actual, you know, intent behind the game. And so it seems like they wanted that, but made it bad. But they didn't know why it worked. A lot of it is communication because that's the point. Mm-hmm. And so when you're playing by yourself... All of that goes out the window. It's not panic. It's pain. With Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Glad someone uh, got there. I don't know what the hell you guys are on about. It's pain and panic. The two little demons. We were talking about Hercules earlier. I'm just all in on animated Hercules references. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> That's their names. Welcome back to the Hercules podcast. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I can't do the voices. I'm sorry. You can't do Job from Lawnmower yeah. Man and the other guy, uh, Bobcat Goldwaith. Yeah, I have no Bobcat Goldwaith. I don't either. You know what? I met him. And it didn't sound like that, which makes sense. Like that's not his normal voice, but like I was kind of disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, stories about Bobcat Goldwaith much better than this game. Uh, mm-hmm. It's this was a frustrating game in a lot of ways because it has. I, I spoke to the to the writing uh earlier and it has it has character in spades the writing is good but it also feels both like rushed and underfunded at the same time so there's the there's these kernels of goodness uh mostly in the animation and design and writing but it's held down and just like fucking drowned in a river by the gameplay and the overarching kind of like non-story I say that the writing's good, but I say the story is bad. Like the character dialogue and some of the humor is is very on point, but the overall story is like we want to get famous. Also, there are these galactic shapes that we want to beat up, and then you do an entire act where you are reuniting lumberjacks and uh, gymnasts. Yep. And that act literally doesn't matter because you don't even get the information from Jeff to get into the city. You just get arrested and taken there. Mm-hmm. You did get it off of Jeff. I mean, it doesn't matter. No, it, it doesn't. It, but... Like it. Yeah, it's literally a thing that has no payoff. So yeah, while the interplay between some of the characters can be pretty good, or up to uh, really good. Uh, again, I think the Topians were great, but then yeah, the actual story. Uh, eh. yeah. See, that's where it, like I struggle at because it like it's a good looking game. Like the. Well, like you had said, the like cutscene in between the animation is done really well. But even like the level design, mm-hmm. it all has that same look. It's done well, but like the humor is yeah. very like yeah. uh, juvenile. As the uh, queen is yelling at the battle toads and not cursing, she like bends over and yells at them to suck her butt, which I genuinely laughed at because that's funny. It's a ridiculous thing to say to someone. <laughs> But most of like the battle toads humor is uh, really juvenile, which I assume is why my like children are watching it because it's bright pretty colors and like juvenile potty humor which isn't bad 
I'm not knocking that at all. Like there, there were parts of this game I found genuinely funny. Uh, like I streamed the parts that like I would laugh at, like the Topians. Absolutely. Some of the lines from the Toads themselves or like the Queen or the Delth Death Cult lady as like Pimple just tosses her off a mountain and she's like, we were a Death Cult anyway. Like that's that's so ridiculous. That's hilarious. And then you get the rest of it. And it's just the gameplay is repetitive and bad and overly long. And my final time, I don't know about you guys. Two hours and 49 minutes all together. And it felt like three times that long. Honestly, for me, it I think it took me something between four and five hours. And it probably just felt like four or five hours. Um, thankfully, like even the most frustrating parts were only f- super frustrating for five or ten minutes before I got past them. Unlike, say, Left Alive, where I was getting murdered in the same place for literal hours see that's this game is mercifully short. we had very different spe- experiences with left alive because i power dodge rolled through the whole game <laughs> <laughs> i don't think yeah, anything in well. that game hung me up for more than like five minutes well also i couldn't like find the guns in that game this game because i'm a dumbass <laughs> definitely felt uh longer than it was is it i probably was in the four to five hour camp and it felt longer, but then also ended so abruptly, it felt weird. Like, I, it was, you know, it, th- playing the gameplay sections that I hated, like the stupid minigame section, felt like it was taking forever. But then when the game ended so suddenly, I was like, oh, and then I guess it's done. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I will say, I genuinely like the music, though. Yeah. I yeah, like. Uh, the- a lot of the music was based off of the old Battletoads music and, like, I think remixed and, like, rewritten for a modern uh, sound system, I yeah, guess. Yeah, the uh, music was solid. It uh, got a bit repetitive. Yeah. Because, um, again, some of the levels drug on, so it just would, like, loop. So if you ever got stuck, it would definitely kind of get uh, repetitive. But, you uh, know, the music was solid. The uh, I find uh, here's one of the things that you see complained about a lot online. Uh, they really don't like the animation style that they went for. And um, to those people, I say, what? Oh, it's cartoony. No, yeah, right? it, it's that's fine. What you want? Grim dark battle toads? Like, yeah. I I have this in my notes. I agree completely. Making this game like edgy or gritty would have made it so much worse. This it could have only been cartoony and done decently well, yeah, because the original is a uh stupid riff on uh teenage mutant ninja turtles like duh it, it, that is all it if is. you're trying to make that like self-serious that's not gonna work well even the first game is pants on head silly yeah like they're not they're not taking themselves over the serious like they attack and their body morphs and shifts in weird ways. And then like when the in the original game, when the big bad, the boss of the level shows up, they have this really big, long, stretched out, panic, freaked out face like they're they're doing it for laughs, man. It's yeah. Also, mm-hmm. like the style, like sure, it's stylized, but it looks really good. I don't I don't get the complaint. Yeah, I think that's not the reason to dislike this game. Yeah, I think some of those complaints are uh, veiled complaints and some not so veiled complaints about the uh, Dark Queen's redesign. Because back in 1991, she was a product of her time, let's say. She was scantily clad and voluptuous. She's and, really tall, too. Right? Um, probably, yeah, like she, seven She's an tall. evil Dark Queen, so she wears like dominatrix gear. Probably not the look I'd go for as a villain. And so they uh, they seriously corrected her design, and she's wearing kind of like a purple jumpsuit and a cape. <laughs> and yeah, looks... uh, Jake just uh, looked that up. Well, like, I remember it's somewhat what she looked like, but you see the before and after. Like, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. That's, uh... And they actually, like, you know, gave her a character in this, and they made her a fun character in this. And God help us, we can't have fun female characters in our you game. You're thick, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> there I'll is shut like up, Jesus. <laughs> no, it it is just this like people complaining about that kind of thing, right? Oh, they redesigned her character. What the fuck? So yes, good. She's got more than uh, 
oh my god what do you call that a leather corset on yeah god forbid she's a woman with clothes on boo the fuck oh so that explains jeff's whole uh thing and why she gets shitty about it yeah i totally didn't get that i just thought jeff was being shitty yeah that's why jeff makes a comment about her appearance yeah about specifically what she's wearing yeah which is like i don't know uh, calling it out is kind of whatever but i fully support the redesign because yeah she's way better in this yeah especially because she's an actual character she's not the villain the Topians are the villain. Like, you know, especially it being, you know, 91 or whatever, uh, and her just being a, like, blank slate villain. I, again, didn't really play the first one, but I don't remember anyone ever talking about the great Battletoads villain. Nope. Right? Nope. It was, nope. It was never a thing. So, yeah. Um, it's one of those things where you see complaints for games online you see negative reviews and a lot of complaining about things that are uh bad that people are complaining that there's oh this woman is not sexualized enough that's a weird complaint that is what people complain about in video games you can play as a woman this game sucks which uh which gun shoot him up game got in trouble for that oh uh battlefield 5 yeah that's the one people were pissed yeah, because uh, or no, it wasn't five; it was one. Uh, women weren't fighting in World War One. Why would there be women here? That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh God, right? Yeah, there there were literal a literal outcry oh. of people who, oh, there's a woman in my war game. Yeah, there's a woman that you were playing as in your first person game who you can't see. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Also, who fucking cares, dude? Play your fucking game. It doesn't matter what your fucking character you're playing as. Are you really out there like fucking role playing your war game so fucking hard? <laughs> While I'm sure there is somebody out there and some like fucking suburban neighborhood watch little fucking uh, old dad army bullshit. That ain't how people do grow the fuck up. Yeah, I hate those complaints. Take the game apart for its actual issues, which this game has many. Gameplay is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, the, uh, me here dismissing all those critics for these stupid things they complain about. Don't get it wrong. This game sucks. Yeah. <laughs> They're complaining about the wrong things. <laughs> I mean, it is like, I don't know, uh, take the game apart for its bad mechanics, its poor pacing and nearly non-existent story, because those are all issues. This game has serious issues, but to be uh, mad that they made them too cartoony is dumb as hell. Yeah. Uh, Elsa, you had said um, you felt like this would be served better as like uh, an animated short, and I'm with you wholeheartedly. If this was just, like, mm-hmm. some show on Adult Swim, like, it feels like it wants to be, I, I'm in on that. Like, just just take out all the, the game uh, such that there is, because it, it is super repetitive, and parts of it are overly long, and it's grating, and it can be extremely frustrating, and yeah, like, the whole platforming section breaks the pace so hard, it just makes that f- section feel so much longer, because suddenly there's not action and it wasn't even like good action before, but it suddenly just stopped. And now you're here slogging through this. And like, while I thought parts of it were funny, I, I don't like this game. I'm never going to play it again. I happily uninstalled it as soon as I was finished with it. Yep. My recommendation for this game is find a streamer that you liked who played this game and watch them instead. Watch Jason get mad at this game, laugh at the cutscenes, and then fast forward through all the platforming sections. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, I I absolutely cannot recommend this game. Like, it's... I, I don't know. It's made for, I guess, kids? Because you have to have no attention span. You you can't like like it it changes between brawler to weird shooting game to side scrolling platformer so much that like there's if you don't like one of the sections or two of the sections or most of the sections because they're boring it drags anytime you have to play them yeah well I mean I just assume that they tried to switch it up so often because of just how repetitive uh, beat 'em up is. And in order to spice it up to keep people interested in it, because otherwise it's just boring. Yeah. But I... the, the, what, the, the, the solution they went with isn't better. It is not. I, I don't know about you. My favorite section was the bullet hell section. When you're the spaceship blowing up other spaceships, best part of the game for me. I, I 
I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I, agree. I like the turbo tunnel. Like something about the just like um, the fast twitch, just like back and forth. Like I, I like that. It was it was not bad. That was probably my second favorite behind the shoot 'em up section, personally. Yeah, and then you know you had uh, hyper mini game garbage and Jeff's face, and those were so bad. <laughs> Wait, you also had Toad Shambo. The non-existent section, yes. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's bad. Don't play it. I mean, it's one of those things. It's short. I don't know, like, how is it so short? There's not enough game here to really, like, if you have to pay for this, definitely don't play it. So that. Yeah. Yeah, this is a game that is on Game Pass, but even then, I can't recommend it. There's a lot of games on like, Game Pass. The, Go play one of the other ones instead. The only use case I can see for this game is if you know two other people, you guys are having some drinks and you want to sit down and all play a game together. I don't know why you would pick this, but that's a thing you could do. One or maybe more of you, especially if you're drinking, might find it humorous, but not enjoyable. I'm putting that one out there. I was going to say, maybe if you already have the Xbox Game Pass... And you have a kid that's really into it. Have it installed for them. Don't play it yourself. Seriously, it's not good. Man, I, my kids both aren't into it. Yeah, I know. It, you have to have someone, a kid who specifically is. Yeah, yeah. Because like the so... one that wanted to play it was use a new game that they could play. It was that they wanted to play Battletoads, which I get. Because <laughs> then they played it and they were like, nah, this ain't for me, dog. Yeah. They also played Bubsy, though, so... <laughs> They have seen worse. <laughs> oh, you've done unspeakable things. Hey, that was their call. And I'm like, if you really want to see it. Mm. Oh, wow. They're too curious for their own good. I'm sorry, children. You did this to you. Bumsy time. <laughs> All right. Well, what do we do now? Well, now we read letters from listeners. Listeners like you. Hey, you. And this listener goes, hey, love the podcast and wanted to send a letter from me. A listener? Uh, so first off, <laughs> why the question mark? Do you, <laughs> do you not listen? Do you watch? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, from where? Anyway. Do do you guys not just consume your podcasts with Yes, but like psychically. I uh, Every podcast I want to uh, take in, I download onto a uh, flash drive and eat it and consume it that way. Hmm. Yeah, that's... I was hoping yep. you were going to say Zune, and that explains why you never see Zunes anymore. Not because they were always <laughs> bad. Because <laughs> Jason has consumed yes. all of them. He's more Zune than man now. <laughs> anyway, first off, I'd like to hear your best Australian accent. Uh, okay. Did people get a kick out of us just struggling with accents? I think so. Yeah, all right. Good day. Welcome back to the Bad Game Cast. I be Dingo Dale, and this is my friend Jake. <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to try and do... Aust oh, fuck, that's not even Australian. All right, hold on, hold on. How do you warm up Australian? Like, good day? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, no just going like, around uh, town. Stereotypical, uh, like, shrimp on the barbie or some shit like that. <laughs> Which every fucking American yeah. says, and here we are. Yeah. And, like, I could go hard on some, like, I don't know, crocodile. It's a big one. Let's jump on. Or uh, a dingo ate my baby. <laughs> Danger, danger, danger. Yeah, so there's that, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll keep... Yeah, well, oh, you fuck. asked for it, so... <laughs> anyway, next, I have an idea. If you cover a bad game and it has other good games as sequels or in the series before the bad game releases, maybe you could play said good game and explain where the bad game went wrong or how it, or how they learned from their mistakes. That is not a terrible idea but is also never going to happen. Well, also, like... No, thank you. If there's a, a game series and we play the first one because it sucks, it isn't very often, and, like, please, if I'm wrong about this, send us a letter and correct me. The next one, the next one after that, they're never good. It's always downhill from the start. Like, they don't get better, right? Like, at some point, we're going to play Final Fantasy Thirteen, the never-ending string of sequels, and I'm sure the next one's going to suck just as fucking hard as all the ones did previously. Yeah. And, like, sometimes, you know, with, say, Final Fantasy, they're not really connected. That's why I said uh, 
the 13 specifically since yeah. those ones are because oh, i mean that's the thing is like we're not gonna play uh 12 and be like how did that differ from 13 because like they're so different yeah also uh there is a sub- substantial amount of time to be invested into the podcast already and that just increases it greatly like it's it's not a terrible like idea but it's one of those things that just like nah we also have to try and judge games based on what they do themselves and not compare it to other things like we try and look at everything as a standalone but i guess we don't also often do series either like i'm sure at some point we'll do another call of duty and but like no matter like the next one we do i'm not going to be comparing it to ghosts i don't even remember ghosts really sticks with you hey neither do i (laughs) weird that all right hey are there any really good games you just don't like shouldn't be played by anyone uh shouldn't be played by anyone i don't i i'm gonna say no to that if people want to play a game they should play a game i like are there games that i you know quote unquote good games that i don't like absolutely like uh i don't know what are some of the best-selling games each year stupid first person shooter stupid sports game i don't play any of those i have no interest i like yearly shooter franchise generally um but i don't ever get them when they come out and usually not for the first two years of them being released and i don't play them for the story i really could not get into world of warcraft tried multiple times never could i tried once and didn't go back um i don't know mmos i used to be able to get into them better i'm actually much worse at it now i don't think i could pick up an mmo at this point Mm. there's just so much daily login and you know your dailies your weeklies your grind and i i just can't do it yeah well uh i had said before uh for that question like as much as I dislike Sonic as a franchise, even if I like the original uh, three, we'll say, or like Square Enix where they sit now, I don't like Square Enix games anymore. I don't like, I don't disparage anybody for liking them, I guess. Like, it's fine. You like what you like, but I don't think they shouldn't be made. The people enjoy them, enjoy the thing you like. Who am I to say what you spend your money on? I can only give you a recommendation on if it's worth it or not. And it's not. It's don't, not. <laughs> don't don't support Square Enix. Uh, so, what's your uh, favorite video game movie? Oh my god! Off the bat, like fuck, it. I love me the Super Mario Brothers movie. God, it's a piece of shit. But you like it ironically? No, I genuinely like that movie. It is not good. Okay. It's like Bob fucking Hoskins <laughs> plays goddamn Mario and Mario John- Mario get his name Mario, right. Mario Mario. And John Leguizamo plays fucking Luigi. Luigi Mario, get his name right. Dennis Hopper is Bowser. Why is Dennis... Why is Bob Hoskins Mario? Like, fucking John Leguizamo. Sure, all right. I guess he looks vaguely Italian, I guess? Not... Whatever. It's fucking ridiculous. It's stupid, and I love it. Although, uh, also, uh, because I like horror movies, so, like, Resident Evil, uh, the original Resident Evil, uh, I really like that movie. I really love the the fucking soundtrack. It's so goddamn good. But also, uh, Silent Hill. I really like Silent Hill, too. Well, I like Silent Hill as a horror movie. I would say that I really like the movie. I really just like the one scene where Pyramid Head rips that lady's skin off because it's gross. Yeah, no, I'm not about that. I was going to say, like, Detective Pikachu was kind of funny. But even that was just kind of an okay movie. Her Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. I have watched so few of these. I have to go with the original animated Pokemon movie. Because Mewtwo told me that it's not the circumstances of your birth, but who you are that makes you who you are. Mewtwo out. That was close to the actual quote. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't have any, uh, like... I couldn't. I don't think I've ever sat through the entirety of Street Fighter with uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Uh, Doom was alright. Uh, Blood Rain is fucking miserable. House of the Dead sucked, and I saw that piece of shit in theaters. Did you watch? Uh, what is it? Assassin's Creed or no. Prince of Persia or no. like they keep trying and they keep failing. Monster I Hunter. I watched Prince of Persia. Oh goodness, right, Monster Hunter. Tell me more about the Monster Hunter. It's not thing, out yet. I don't know. It looks like garbage. Okay. They. Oh, oh, this is my favorite thing. Uh, so, Monster Hunter the movie is uh, was originally slated to come out next year, like spring of 2021. They bumped the release date up to December 2020. Oh, that isn't done. Yep. 
Yup. Yeah. <laughs> so they were like, hey, let's bury this movie when theaters are going out of business due to COVID. And then we can blame COVID on its terrible draw. Yeah, you can just jam it and write off here. It's fine. Bingo, bango. It looks like dirt. Oh, my God. There's a Wing Commander movie? Max Payne wasn't that Again, good. they keep trying and they keep failing. I'm not going to talk about the, the blue one. You know, as long as, uh, what's his name, U-Bull doesn't make them, eh, maybe. I mean, I do like uh, Mia Jovovich, though, so. You, you have anything to add, Elsa? Oh, I certainly do. All right, not. so why do I people... I don't watch video game movies. <laughs> yeah, I... Why do people think that Shenmue was good? <laughs> In quotes, it was revolutionary for its time, but it wasn't good. Uh, and I, I, I don't have anything for this. I didn't play the game. I haven't played the sequel. I don't care. It's like I know nothing about it other than like it was originally slated to be like Virtua Fighter Quest or something, and then they changed it. So it's like um, a loose story, making sure your uh, main character plays a fuck ton of different mini games, right? And then there's a weird day night cycle, and I think it's just nostalgia that people think they liked it when they were younger. Because, I don't know, but I've also never played them, so I guess I got no dog in that fight. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, n n none of us really have played the games, so we don't really have opinions. I might, you know, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's not. I really don't care. I have no interest in ever playing it. Um... Yeah, neither do I, so, like, some people like it. Great. You're allowed to like things. I mean, if I had a Dreamcast. Jake likes the Mario movie. Yeah. You're like, allowed to like things, even if they suck. We all know I like garbage. That's nothing new. <laughs> and finally, also, I personally believe 2020 isn't really that bad because it's better than any year previous to the 1900s. <laughs> 500 years ago, one in children, one in four children didn't reach adulthood, and the male lifespan was 45 years. <sighs> okay. Uh, uh, bring in... Sure, do you got a point? Bring in hard, uh, hard current events into the podcast. Um... You're not wrong, but you're also not right. Right. There are places in the world right now where that's still true. Uh, one in four children will die, and people don't live over the age of uh, 40 who gives a shit. Like, pick a number. It's irrelevant. Yeah. 2020 has been a pretty bad year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, like... You're allowed to yeah, say that. It, if, it, if it's been good for you, I'm glad for you. Uh, but for a lot of people, it's been really bad. Worse than some of the ones recently and so to just like kind of ride over that i think is doing those people a disservice it's been a bad year hopefully next year gets better like that's kind of what we have to do hopefully next month gets better right like why limit it to years every day week <laughs> month year we should be better we can be better yep we should never stop striving to be better just because it was worse yeah well fucking said print episode I don't got anything else to say. Fucking mic drop. Jason, out. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Plugs? Ah, uh, yeah. So, still, thank you for the letter. If you want to reach out to us for questions, comments, concerns, thebadgamecast at gmail.com. You can also uh, find The Bad Gamecast anywhere else, basically. Uh, it's Twitch, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Reddit, Discord. I always forget one. YouTube. YouTube. And on Patreon. Thank you to all our patrons for helping support the podcast. It means a lot. Yes. Thank you. Uh, special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys fucking rock. We love you. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Jake Prey. You can find me on Twitter at Freya Faust. I recently came out with a book. Go read it. It's on Kindle. It's called The Stray Dogs. The end. Well, for the Bad Gamecast, I've been Jake. I've been Jason. And I am Elsa. Good night, everybody! We didn't even do a bit there at the end. What are we doing with bits, our lives? Bits, 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 bits. Bits. Big and bitties rain from the oh, heavens. No. Uh, I was just looking oh, how uh, Notre Dame ended up winning in double overtime. <laughs> Did yeah. they now? Good for them. Score.
words. Which will really Fuck date this episode. So, like, don't leave that in. Yeah. How did um, local university do in their sport match off? They did quite well. Thank you for yeah. asking. Huzzah. I mean, but that was always going to happen. We're not yeah, Brian. like, uh, as little as I know about uh, Tackle Guy, um, even if you hadn't said who was going to win, I, I was watching that game. <laughs> yeah, we watched the first half. <laughs> it uh, was pretty obvious. Oh, God. We got some more. Uh, Good <laughs> we got more banter? Good post roll. Right. Nope.